Hi, and welcome to this video on uh, Kimichi's new GL non sunny line reporting using the library's method. We have another video that you may have watched on the uh, basic uh, reporting method, but this one's going to be in the libraries. And as with all things Kimichi, when you log in, you're going to land on the advisory portal. You click the Reports and Libraries tab over here and Libraries. And so, again, I'm going to go ahead and set the, uh, the background on this. I have a thing called the accounting calendar. It's the thing that we do in Cubinci. For this particular exercise, I have an accounting calendar that's uh, non-Sunday aligned. So my weekly reporting is Friday through Thursday. I've got a 445 report reporting period structure. And the first day of this year, according to my accounting calendar, uh, accounting calendar is December the 30th of 2022. So against that backdrop, what we do is we'll help you set that accounting calendar up the way you want it to be, 445, 454, whatever it might be. Uh, our solution consultants will do that for you, and then you just begin running reports. Now again, I, there's a video for basic reports. We're in the libraries now. The difference between the uh, libraries and basic reports is basic reports are predefined uh, raw data kind of things. And these use an Excel-like reporting solution inside Cubinci. They're called templates. And we have built all of these templates for you. Now you will find these in the Cubinci gallery. You click the gallery and they're gonna be in there. At this point in the time when I'm recording this, uh, they are in my shared with me folder. And all you do is you just search for uh, any word that would be in either of these columns, either the name column or the description column. So I look for general and it finds all the general ledger based templates that we have built for you. If I were to search for, you know, dash GL, it'd find it also. This is how you can search the entire set of libraries. This is the name, it's kind of a short uh, acronym based name, and this is the description. And if you read this description, you're going to find you know, all the things that this you know, report does. What you do have to do, what you will have is all your entities being synced. Uh, in this case, I've got a QuickBooks Online, Online and Desktop file. And if I select all three, then the reporting that I, any reports that I run will be, will use the data from three files. Given you automatically syncs these this data out of the remote QuickBooks files. And I can select one, many, or all. In this case, I'm gonna leave all three set. So I've got my entity set at this point, and I just need to go choose the template that I want to run. And then I'm gonna show you what these templates look like in a raw form, which is an Excel-like interface, because these can be customized. Basic reports cannot be customized. These can be customized, and data can be used to build, for instance, business intelligence. So we've pre-built some reports for you. So let's take a look. You know, Let's take a look at the by entity report for the four, four or five, um, the four or five week periods, reporting periods, okay? So we just simply click the preview button. That's all we have to do, and there it is. So for the reporting period and this reporting period ending August 29th, here's the uh, reports for Austin Brew, Bristol Beer Garden, Mount Morristown Cafe, and consolidated totals for the re four, five week reporting period ending on the 29th. If I want to run a different report, it's very simple. I come down and say, you know what, I'm going to run, I want to run a consolidated report, and I want to run this report uh, for the prior week, the same period last year. Prior week, same period last year. Year over year, period over period. Consolidated across all three entities. This would be really hard to do without a, th without a solution like Cubinci, right? I mean, really. So here we are. We have the prior week is the 18th through the 24th of 23 versus the 19th to the 25th of 22. And the delta between the two. How did I do this year versus last year? Well, you know catering contracts? Not so good. So you get the idea. Select your entities and then go find the report that gives you the periods or the frequencies as we call them that you're looking for. Let's take a look at a couple of other ones down here. Let's go down here and let's take a look as we move through the options. You can see we've got a lot of GL um, reporting solutions for you. So let's take a look at the fiscal year to date by week. Uh, no, I tell you what, let's do this fiscal year to date versus the same period last year. Consolidated. So remember, we're on a non-Sunday aligned reporting kind of thing, but this is going to be FYTD, fiscal year to date, versus the same period last year. And there you are. Notice this is a Friday, and that was a Friday. So we start on the first Friday of the calendar year going through, uh, you know, today, fiscal year to date, and we got the delta between the two. And again, beverage sales are off by $111,000, FYTD, year over year, non-Sunday aligned reporting. So you may want to do certain kinds of things. For instance, looking at the, um, let's look at the um, 
uh, 13 weeks by week consolidated across all three locations. Just to click the preview button again. So here's the most recent 13 weeks by week, non-Sunday aligned. That's Friday through Thursday, Friday through Thursday, Friday through Thursday, and the total consolidated across those three entities. So let's say that you had 61 uh, entities in the field or restaurants or who knows what, and you wanted to run consolidated reporting across all those entities by week for 13 weeks, and they all have a different QuickBooks file. Just how hard would that be? And, oh, by the way, using Kivinci's patented into the standard chart of accounts of your choosing, you know, because the chart of accounts in the field from these other QuickBooks files is not standard, Kivinci will map that, the disparateness from all those 61 locations into your standard consolidate. I mean, this would take you days to do, and it took us five seconds to do. And so that's really how the reporting solution works. Now, here's the spin on the solution. And we can do this for you. We do a lot of custom reports. So you say, you know what? I really like that four or five week report. Uh, the four or five week reporting period versus the prior period. Let's just go take a look at that real quick. Let's go take a look at the most recent four or five week versus the same period uh, versus the prior period and kind of see what the comparisons look like. Because you can do things, these templates are baselines for you. From there, you can modify them or you can have us modify them. So here we are looking at, uh, you know, the, and we're inside a new period, 25 through 29th, so the brand new period versus the same, period, same prior period and the difference between the two. Well, this report can be modified. If you click the edit button, it's gonna bring up an Excel-like interface with basically all the functions you find in Excel, but it's inside Kivinci using in our reporting app. And you can see here's all the capabilities that we have inside Kivinci. So we could come in here and you could add a row or add a column or do custom analysis or choose different pieces of the account, uh, do a summary PL. They're fully modifiable. And you save it and it puts it in your mind folder. So any modification, you can take our template that we have here, our just standard template, edit save as, it'll put it in your mind folder. Here's some that I've got in my mind folder. And you've now got a customized template based on non-Sunday aligned reporting from a starting point that we already built for you. Or you can have us do it by clicking that button right down there, the help button, and asking customer service, say, hey, you know, I really like this. I really like this four or five week reporting period versus the prior period, but I got a twist on it. Can you guys help me? And the answer would be yes, we can help you. And this is our solution. So if you want it all by entities, simply search for the keywords by entity, and it's gonna search both columns, give you what you're looking for. It's a very powerful solution, customizable, and when you start taking the templates that we've got and packaging them up with two or three templates, which you can do, I want that one, that one, and that one, you can package them up and run them, and then those plurality of reports will run, will dump down for you uh, to a, a zip file that has a bunch of Excel um, uh, reports in it, or PDFs. And again, you can run these reports on one, many, or all. And the larger your ecosystem, the more difficult the problem is, right? Well, having predefined reports that have all these periods, there's probably one, in here, uh, one, two, three in here, four in here that fit the bill of what you're looking for, you just simply go in and take a look and run them. And our solution consultants uh, will give you a deep dive and give you a private uh, uh, webinar on this solution. And our uh, customer uh, success agents build out your account for you. They will w talk with you and put these into your folder, uh, in your mind folder, mind tab that you might want to run. And then uh, you can make a request and say, listen, uh, I'd like to customize it. If I want to customize it, I'd like to do some business intelligence. What do you guys have for us? And so we work with our clients to give you exactly what you need across your units using non-Sunday aligned weekly reporting. We know it's going to be very powerful for you. We know you're going to like it, and there's nothing like it out there. And so do reach out to one of our solution consultants. They'll give you that private, in, uh, the private personal webinar. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.